Well, the Sheridan Hotel is being invaded by aliens and also mutants and <laughs> cyborgs and wizards and even a few muggles. Oh, we're going to get in touch with one of those <laughs> muggles right now. It is, of course, the Sci-Fi and the Rock Convention. And over 12 years, it's grown into one of St. John's most colorful events. Here now, Zach Gowdy is there joining us live. So, Zach, what's happening? Uh, well, the invasion has begun, I'm being told, and yes, we have confirmation. Uh, normally, this is a very plain hotel ballroom, but as you can see today, a swirling kaleidoscope of pop culture. Yes, it is all about science fiction and fantasy, but as you can see, you never know who or what you will run into here at the convention uh, today. So much to see and celebrate from movies, comic books, video games, anime, horror, the furries are here representing the sci-fi uh, on the Rock Conference really today is about as big as your imagination. Uh, as you look around, there's so much to see and do. We're here in the vendor room right now. Uh, you can buy just about anything your heart desires from an authentic Jedi lightsaber to a real Harry Potter replica wand. But the thing that really people want to see are the costumes. You can look around and see just how much time some of these people have put into their costuming, what it really means to them. And uh, before the convention started, I hooked up with a couple of cosplayers in their super secret costume construction closets to see, well, how all of this comes together. I think I just have a big imagination, and I've always had a big imagination. When you're a kid, you want to be the princesses, and then you get the opportunity. I'm working on an elven druid, so that's what this bad boy here is, all of this. I started with like a bra for the base, and I had some floral girl in that I used for like the waistline and for accessories. I don't really know what I'm going to use um, until I find it, and I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to work. My name is Mae Dalton Summers, and I've been with the convention in different capacities for the whole 12 years, one way or the other. First costume contest was extremely basic. Uh, basically, people came out to the convention and from the internet and other conventions that you just kind of see on TV, people knew that you could dress up, but a lot of people were still apprehensive. Like, am I the only one that's going to show up in this outfit? slow process. We went from, you know, year five or so where there was a few people in costume but not a lot. Um, and you just see the energy that they have and the energy that they put into their time and costuming. Uh, and I wanted to get in on it. I think what happens when you're into books and comic books and even just sewing, there are a lot of solitary things, like the things you do on your own. So it's not like basketball or other events where there's just this big social gathering happening all the time. So until you kind of give people that outlet, everyone kind of stayed at home doing their thing, and then finally we were, we were like, come on out. Oh, we'll never die! It's so fun, you get to embody and create this vision of a character that you have in your head and bring it to life, and it's just, I don't know, like a creative outlet, I guess. I like to wear them, and I like to especially wear them at the convention for children, and we even get parents who will call us or message us uh, through our Facebook page, and they're like, hey, is this princess gonna be here, and what time, because my daughter is really hoping to meet them you just run into these children and they're just boggled that you're real, that you exist. And they think you're real and you really have to own it and just they have the biggest smile on their faces. They're so excited that their daughter is expecting for Ariel to show up at 3 o'clock on Sunday and Ariel has to be there. All right, and the big reveal. May and Kit are joining us now live at the convention, fully costumed. Uh, thanks so much for being here again. Tell us about what you're wearing uh, right now. Well, I am wearing Queenie from Fantastic Beasts. I've got the coat that I commissioned, um, my fancy shoes, my wand, the whole nine yards. Wow, <laughs> extra special wand there, casting lots of spells so far. Wand, so. <laughs> Fantastic. And May, what are you wearing today? Uh, my big comic book geek, so I'm wearing Dark Supergirl today. Wanted to do a little Kryptonite Supergirl, got some red lenses going on, put on the blonde hair, some fancy new boots, and some foam pieces as well as some sewn pieces and all put together. So many excellent touches in both of these costumes. Guys, just before we let you go, what does it feel like when you get to walk around here after all this pre preparation among so many other people who share this passion? It's a relief uh, <laughs> to start, uh, but it's super exciting. It's really cool to see all of these costumes that people have talked about building for so long in the flesh, so yeah. I think it's exciting. <laughs> uh, you get tired and stressed after like a year of it, and every year we've just had to stop taking a break and 
do more and more months into it. So it's worth it when we come here and everyone's enjoying it. Wow. Well, thanks for letting us share this world, guys. Thanks so much and have a great time this weekend. Thank, Thank you. you for coming out. Wonderful. And if you want to come down to Sci-Fi on the Rock, we'll be here all weekend. Drop by the CBC Sci-Fi selfie booth. And uh, yeah, hey, again, you never know who you're going to run to. It's a fabulous time for a cosplayer or a muggle like myself. Reporting live at the Sheridan Hotel, I'm Zach Gowdy for Here and Now.